Okay, after a long time away, I've decided to do a video. This time I'm gonna show the uh, procedural coin generation and how I did it in the level editor and then finally I'll show it in game. So the first thing I'm gonna show is the coin mesh. So here it is. I'll select it so you can see. So it's pretty simple. And this rectangle in the back is what I use to do the glow. And if I shut down the coin. So there you can see it's just an additive blending that I do. I'll show that in the engine also. And it'll give you a little halo effect uh, around the coin. Uh, it's pretty cheap. And uh, I'll also show here's another example. This is um, sort of like an explosion when you pick up the coin. And again, it's additive. I'll show it again in the engine when it's running. And now we'll go to the editor where I implemented this. So first I'll shut this down. And I added a new object, which is a coin. And this is what allows me to build it in the game. So there you have one coin. And you can change the coin type. For instance, now it's a line and I can add as many coins as I want or 12 or whatever. I can also change it to, if I want it to zig right and left, or if I want something more complicated. And I can also do an arc. So there you have your arc. So I'll show these um, in the game, but this allows me to generate them quick, very quickly in the editor and then save them out. I can move them around just like, just like any other asset. So to show how I've implemented this, some cases, I guess we could call this a procedural coin generation in quotes because in some instances I hand place the coins. For example, I want something pleasant or to um, have the coins placed, placed in a certain manner. So when I want that, I just actually place them like this in the asset. So what it does is it'll save the it'll save this asset that I have here and then it'll look below to see if there's any coin asset layers and if there are it'll parent them to the asset and then I'll load them in the engine. So I can randomly select from various coin configurations. So in the engine it will randomly pick if if there's actual coin assets that I've hand placed. If there isn't, then it'll generate them procedurally. So that's that's generally the trick that I did. Some games I noticed they did the same thing, but they only had one coin layer. I decided to take it a little bit further and have random um, versions of the coins. So see if I can find one that's a little more complicated. Oh, that one looks complicated. Yeah, here's an example. I wouldn't expect my program to generate uh, procedural coins for something like this. So I come in and then I place, I place the uh, coins manually for something like that. And others, if we go up, let me see. Yeah, here's an example for something like this, a bunch of obstacles that'll be that'll get generated uh, procedurally in the game. It'll detect that, oh, there's only a couple of obstacles, so it'll generate the coins on the fly in the game. So that's probably what I'll show next. All this implemented in the game so that you can see the glow and then you can see the flash, etc. So that'll be in the next version or in the next section of this video. All right, here we have the game up and running with the coins. Hopefully you could see the slight glow that I've added. And as I showed in the editor, um, here are some of the coins. Although most of these are actually procedurally generated, for instance, the one with the obstacles. So these aren't using the hand place coins that I that I showed earlier because, well, it's just really simple geometry. 
but I have the coins up and running. And you can see the little flash that I showed earlier, how it's blended additively. So just go around collecting the coins. Oh, I've also put some for moving trains. These were actually hand placed. So you just have, have them at the very last minute you have to get away. And here's that coin line that I showed in the editor. So you just go around collecting the coins. So like so. Again, these were, oh no, these are procedurally generated in the tunnel. It recognizes that it's laid down a tunnel, so it'll put them in between the posts. Here you'll easily be able to see that glow. It's, I, it's just very slight just to give it a little tinge, not make it overpowering. Although, <laughs> funny, most of these are actually procedurally generated by the engine, so there hasn't been it. So far, I haven't shown any of the hand-placed coins. So it's only for a specific uh, example. I think, yeah, these might be hand-placed for that train. So I'll just play it for a little bit longer, see if I can find the coin lines when the uh, enemy knights are running. Again, this is done in the engine, what you just saw. So it looks like I'm not going to get the knights. That's one of the problems with uh, uh, procedural generation. You can't really control when things appear. They, there's rules, but it won't happen when you're recording a video. Oh, maybe now it'll happen with the knights. Nope. Again, there's different paths for these trains. So there'll be different uh, ways in, the, in which they, they come through just to add some variety. But anyways, um, that's what I had to show. It uh, the the coins for the uh, game that the player has to pick up, and uh, I'll do another video as soon as I have something else to show. Hopefully, it won't take as long as this one. Um, I've been meaning to do it for quite some time, but just didn't get around to it. So uh, yeah, next time I'll do something much more quickly. So thanks and bye for now.